Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we will be looking at my top five Wellington coffee spots. For those of you that don't know, Wellington is actually a coffee hub and there are some of the best coffee places that I have ever tried. So I'm looking forward to showing you my top five places. Our first stop on the coffee tour is Tomboy. I love this place because it's actually really close to where I live and they genuinely have the best selection of cabinet food. All their bread is to die for, if you get the chance to try it you have to. I usually get an Americano and some form of sandwich, this time it was a bagel with smoked salmon and cream cheese, and I always get two baby donuts that I dip into my coffee. It's a great place to study and their atmosphere is very chill, they also have some outdoor seating. Another one of my go-to coffee spots in Wellington is Extra Extra. When I'm not working from home, this is my favorite coffee spot on the side of the city. Located on Panama Street, right off Lambton Key, this spot is ideal for anyone working in Wellington's business district. They've always got a great selection of cabinet food, always have tasty donuts on Thursdays and Friday, and their staff are super friendly. The coffee here is always delicious, and there's always a puzzle to attempt while waiting for your coffee. Perfect atmosphere for a break from work. The third stop on this top five coffee spots in Wellington is Pour and Twist. I've actually had their coffee before, but this was the first time I'd visited their coffee shop. Located right off Cuba Street, it's in a prime spot for that weekend morning sun and the perfect way to start any day. If you're looking for something a little different, their charcoal coffee is my go-to recommendation for a little twist to your coffee routine. Our fourth stop on this coffee tour is Cafe Lafare. They sell literally everything from takeout coffee, brunch, fancy coffee machines, and coffee pods for Nespresso machines. This is actually where I get my coffee pods for my Nespresso machine. The cafe itself is located right across from Moore Wilson's and serves a pretty tasty brunch alongside its coffee. My fifth and final favorite coffee spot in Wellington is Raglan Roast Coffees by the waterfront. They do actually have another location in the city that does have a cool grungy vibe, but on a day like today I couldn't resist being outside. Raglan's coffee is not only delicious, but it is way more affordable than any of its competitors. If you bring a keep cup, you get even more of a discount. I did forget my keep cup today, but usually my Americano costs $2.50. And to add to that, not only do they have cheap coffee, they also always seem to have dogs roaming around, and there's no better way to start my day. If you enjoy this video, please feel free to hit like and subscribe, it means a lot. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see uh, anything in particular.